Brett had a very strong belief that Hogan screwed him in WWE. Yes. Talked Vince out of an opportunity for Brett. And it's my opinion, could be wrong, but that feeling, that resentment, that distrust that Brett held for Hogan never went away. And the lack of respect when it comes to business, when it came to business, the lack of respect, trust that Hogan had for Brett was real. And again, you could get them to work together in the same ring. They could hang out. They could be together in a, on the roster. There was no heat per se visible in, in terms of their ability to work together until and unless it came time to make it actually mean something. And that lack of trust, resentment, call it what you will, from 1993 or whenever happened or 92 i don't know i don't remember the dates but that initial opportunity and and the way it was explained to me from from hulk was that vince mcmahon made a lot of promises to brett along the way but had a different conversation with hulk mm. at the same time so when it came time to resolve the issue because Brett was pushing that issue because of what he was told as he should have. If indeed he was told by Vince McMahon that something was going to happen and kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and not fully committing to it, Brett called it out. They finally ended up in a room together with Vince and Vince basically denied it yep. and went with Hogan. I wasn't there and I don't necessarily believe a hundred percent of what any one person tells me when there's two or more people involved, because everybody, everybody hears things differently. They have a different perspective. Their emotions are at different levels. All of that affects what really happened. Yes. So it's impossible for me to take a hundred percent of anybody's opinion about anything when there's more than one person involved, two people involved. But the way it was explained to me it makes it easy for me to understand why Brett was as entrenched as Brett was when it came to Hogan and, and still carried around some of that distrust and resentment. It's also easy for me to understand from Hulk's point of view why he didn't really have a lot of respect for Brett in some regards professionally. Hulk obviously recognize what we all did is that when it came to his work in the ring, Brett was second to maybe only Ric Flair. And even that's arguable, you know, depending on your perspective at the time. But when it came to doing business, which is a different, it's a wrestling way of saying, trusting the guy you're in there with, that was the issue. There was a lack of trust.